Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna go over a commonly asked question. How do you keep your trailer battery charged while driving? Well, some of the comments that we get are that your tow vehicle is not fully charging the battery on your trailer, that your trailer battery is actually draining the tow vehicle's battery, and how to properly maintain a battery to keep a charge on a dump trailer or a trailer with a winch. There's a couple of different ways you can keep your battery charged while you're driving. Most of them are not going to charge your battery all the way. Um, one of the biggest ways that you can charge a battery while you're driving is the 12 volt that's actually on your seven pole. It's gonna send a signal back, um, transfer it from the alternator on the vehicle back to the battery and it's going to provide a slow charge, but that's never going to charge it back to 100%. Um, you can also get an Anderson style plug, which we have another video of how to charge your dump trailer while driving. That'll show an example of that. Um, the best way that we found is to use something like the Red Arc BC-DC charger. This is going to be a DC to DC charger um, that is going to up the amperage and up the voltage from the vehicle's battery to be able to fully charge and monitor your battery so that you can get that full charge when you get to the campsite or the job site. Now when it comes to your trailer battery draining your vehicle's battery, um, the most common problem is that you're leaving your seven pole plugged in and something in your trailer is draining the vehicle's battery. It's kind of similar to leaving, like if you were to leave a door open or leave a light on, or an accessory on inside your truck or your tow vehicle. Um, it's just gonna slowly drain your vehicle's battery until you're not able to start your vehicle anymore. That is when a battery isolator is definitely a good thing to have. Um, a battery isolator will be installed on your trailer and it will not allow any more uh, energy to be backfed to the trailer or vice versa. Now with a battery isolator, you can install it one of two ways. You can install it on the trailer, which is usually the most common, but you can also install it in the tow vehicle. Um, it's just gonna depend really how many trailers you have. If you just have one trailer, um, you're probably better off installing it on the trailer itself. But if you pull multiple trailers, and you notice that every time you pull a trailer, um, you're having trouble with draining your battery on your tow vehicle, you might wanna install it on your towed vehicle. Now when it comes to keeping your winch battery or your battery on your dump trailer maintained, um, there's a couple different options that you have. Um, one of them and the, probably the easiest option is to install a small solar panel like we have here. This is going to keep your battery maintained at a trickle charge um, when it's in storage. Usually with a trailer with a winch on it or a dump trailer, you're not going to be using it all the time. Um, so adding a solar panel onto it is going to help to maintain that battery when you're not using it so that your battery's charged when you get back to it. Um, the other chargers are gonna be just like what we were talking about earlier. Uh, the DC to DC charger is going to be helpful while you're driving to be able to charge your battery to its full capacity um, so that when you go to park it, your battery's all charged up and ready to go. The last option, which a lot of people already know about, is to get a trickle charger that actually plugs into AC power, and those are AC to DC chargers. Those are gonna be good as long as you have a power source um, wherever you store your trailer to be able to just park your trailer and plug it right in to keep it charged up. Well guys, hopefully some of these tips were able to help you solve the problem you might be having. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.